Continuing to follow developments out of Ridgecrest, where the region, as you know, has been hit by those two major earthquakes and thousands of aftershocks. That quake coming a day after the 6.4 magnitude hit the area. 23 ABC Scott Sheehan is in Ridgecrest this morning with fire officials who have been working around the clock to ensure the safety of residents in the area. Scott. Mike Danielle, one of those officials who's been working around the clock and finally got some sleep last night. The police chief up here in Ridgecrest. So Chief McLaughlin, first off, good morning. How'd good morning. you sleep? Uh, I got about four hours, so I'm good this morning. Yeah. So moving forward, all right, we, we've talked about some of the closures. Uh, you guys inspected the schools. How are we looking schools wise here in Ridgecrest? Yeah, uh, I should have a report this morning, uh, fairly early this morning to see what the condition of the schools are. Um, I know that we did use Burroughs High School as one of our uh, evac centers, so I think Burroughs is in, in okay shape. So, uh, And then I should have the report on the other schools today as well as the college to see where we're at uh, with that. And then how are we looking as far as the base here? Um, I know the base is still closed. Um, they continue to provide uh, updates to their employees. Uh, on the condition. I know they've restored power to uh, a large portion of the base and uh, continue to work toward uh, opening that, but I do not have a time frame on uh, when they are hoping to reopen. And then the last time we talked, you said today's gonna be a big paperwork day for you. Yeah. Uh, we did put the email and the phone number on our 23ABC and my Facebook page. Why is it so important for people today to get in touch with you guys and show off the property damage that they have? Yeah, um, as far as like our citizens providing us the damage that they have, that way we can uh, get that reported to the state, to the federal government, so that we are we can find out what they're eligible for, what level of grants, loans that they can get, and then we can help them get so that they can get their property repaired. All right, well, thank you for those updates. We'll try to give you a little bit more as the morning goes along. Again, quake damage at ridgecrest-ca.gov. Again, you can find that information on our 23ABC and my 23ABC Facebook pages. Up here at Ridgecrest, Scott Sheehan, 23ABC, connecting you.